Thank you for kissies. Adam and Cole win a play in games. They're both so stupid and lame. The show is going to hell. In a handbasket. Hey everyone, I'm Corwin. This is Adam. You're watching Handbasket Gaming, and we're about to try out a game called Super Meat Boy. I'm dizzy now. Um, yeah, start game. He's playing as a yep. big ball of meat. Yep. And that, there was a little intro. We got like that's that's Super Meat Boy, that's Bandage Girl, and that is oh. Doctor Fetus. So Doctor uh, Fetus is a dick and just yeah. beat up Bandage Girl. So use birth control, everybody, to yeah. uh, to stop that from happening. Stop Doctor Fetus. Yep. So uh, uh, full disclosure, we uh, we recorded this once before and had some uh, some technical issues. So, so, uh, so we're, we're trying it again. it again. So oh look, he's he's so upset because. She was taken for obvious reasons that he would be upset about. Popping up the walls. But bam! Yo, dude, that's just unnecessary. And he ends every episode like that. Uh, every level. The, yeah, there we go. I'm trying to remember what the. Hey, A plus. Look at me go. Good job. First Sweet. try. Get your blood up on everything. Yep, I try. Now he's super meat boy. He's super bloody because he's meat. Yeah, or it's, is it's it... not. It's not blood. It's meat juice. Okay. Nope. Oh, oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Just, just blood everywhere. There, there we go. go. That's yeah. I'm getting now it. Gone. I'm getting it back to going. Oh my god. So I had to so, my last opportunity to embarrass shit out of my brother. Nice. Um, last time, like, did he die? No. That's yeah. Nice. That was it. No, uh, it was my last opportunity to do it while he was still in high school. What? What is this? How did we not find this the first time? I don't know, but... Oh, this is the greatest! Oh my god, this is so cool! Oh! Oh god. Limited, We've only got limited, limited lives. lives! Oh god, no wonder this Jump is... Jump on that thing right there that looks like a... That looks like a rock or something. What, over to the left? Uh, I was gonna say at the top... There you go, there you go. Yeah! There you go. Okay! All right. It's your birthday. You're gonna yep. get blood on shit like it's your birthday. Oh, okay. You're gonna ment I mean, you're gonna be a boy of meat uh, like it's your birthday. You're gonna no. fall off the universe like, like it's your, your birthday. <laughs> Is it my birthday, Corwin? You're gonna, gonna just no. straight up die that time. It's your birthday. You're gonna waste your lives, it's your birthday. Oh, fuck! Every life is gone, it's your birthday. It's not my Back birthday. To the regular game now, it's your birthday. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, what I... Wait, did you, did I you didn't tell know. your story yet? Okay, so my, my <laughs> little brother is graduating high school. Yeah. I recently graduated. Well, um, he got his the diploma. In an earlier, episode, uh, earlier episode of another part of this show, I've talked about why I didn't think he needed it, why he didn't earn it, but he got it anyway. So he gets his, his diploma. We're at the ceremony where they're handing out the diplomas. And a personal like issue, I mean, like I I like that that ceremony. I think it's an important and good ceremony. But there's always assholes, always lots of these people who will like scream shit no! out when their person gets their uh, when the person that they're to see gets their diploma. Uh -huh. Or like uh, no joke, sometimes has like blow horns or like just uh, really. I, I just hate air horns in yeah. every form. It was an air horn. Like there was air horn uh, that I heard at one point in time at one of the graduations. <laughs> And just people just screaming out, that's about like just all kinds of really ridiculous stuff. I thought you were gonna say really racist stuff. <laughs> I mean, some I haven't heard any racist stuff yet, but I wouldn't be surprised depending on the high school. I'm doing amazingly well. Um, you are doing really good. That's why I'm gonna keep telling the story. I think it gets you, I think you do better, especially in this fire dungeon. I was gonna say um, this won't kill me. It'll just make me turn brown. Yeah, It'd be a nice, uh, nice burger. <laughs> but so it's it's he's he's up there to get his diploma. No. <laughs> and you people are screaming shit out the whole time. It comes up, he gets his. Uh, we don't because uh, I'm not that kind of guy. Instead, yeah. uh, polite clapping. We, yeah, we did polite, polite clapping, and then like as soon as uh, as soon as like it was all done, we did a big like loud cheer or whatnot. Thing is, is that like I keep mentioning, the other people are screaming shit out the whole time. There's nope. one woman, about four people after my brother got his diploma. Yep. Uh, her son must have graduated. 
That would make she, sense. Because she screams out at the top of her lungs, That's my baby! That's my baby! Five times. Well, she to yelled be fair, out that line. That was her baby. That was her baby, and we all need to no, know. The guy stopped handing out diplomas. It was that bad. He literally just stopped. That's hilarious. Until she was out of air and sat her windbag ass down. Windbag ass. Well, once her windbag ass was down and those over, the ceremony finishes up. And stop um, punching my girlfriend. I know, real dick move. Uh, it. Nope. Well, that was go. just. Uh, yeah, that just happened. The ceremony finishes up, and like there, this this time now the ceremony's over. And they're leading the kids out of the uh, <laughs> out of the out of out of, out of the uh, area that they do this ceremony in, and the kids are supposed to go outside. And then after the kids go outside, they let all the adults out to go meet the, the kids. They release and then, them, and then they get to leave. Okay. Well, my 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 brother's last name isn't the same as mine, and his is much lower on the alphabet than mine is. So he's one of the you last last name to leave. elitist you. Or, yeah, um, <laughs> it's just ranked much lower. I had, I had an, my last name starts with an A, a. so I'm at the beginning. Making his, you and superior. His is a V, making him inferior. Exactly. Whoa, nope, that Damn. was the wrong way to do that. <laughs> well, he's walking with his friends. Uh, not walking. He's strutting like I've never nope. seen him strut before in my life. Okay. He's strutting with his friends. Walking out of this, out of this, uh, out, out of this career graduation. Like I just said, I didn't even think he earned his diploma. So I was just like, uh, and he's doing his massive s strutting. And I, they're coming up the, the walkway and I just start, I just screamed over everybody. That's my baby. <laughs> That's my baby. <laughs> and just his face turned oh. the same color as Meat Boy. And so did his friends that were walking with him. His friend, the entire friends, the, the entire, not friends. just their faces. They, they all turned into Super Meat Boy as a group. That's pretty super. I thought it was Honestly. pretty cool. What is what she is... doing? Oh. Something else is happening to you now. What? Oh, uh, you broke your this computer. You... Oh, God. What is going on? This is the... I, Apparently, this is what ha like how they do replay value in this game. No, that didn't. Oh, Ooh, boy. the map moves with you. Oh, that boy. Made, that this made is special. hard. Oh, See you a know little what? rock in the ground there? I want you to try to hit that. Just stomp on it. You know what? <laughs> no, you died. <laughs> Wait, but I went all the way up there, and where was where was Bandage Girl? She wasn't up there. Damn it! Wow. That. Wait. So did I? Did I complete that one? No, you didn't. 16? Did I complete 16? Do I have to do that again? Okay, that's fine. I'll do this one again. But that was confusing. <laughs> and wow. Okay. So apparently that's how they grant replay value to this game, is that they just give you random shit. So uh, on the subject of girl abuse. Uh, well, okay, I, I, I need to preface this. Please do. This this story is, I was in second grade, I believe. Like, and this story's got layers to it. So, so like don't think- onion? No, like an ogre. Okay. Uh, so don't think you just know what's going on with this story. So- So I was at the Nazi party. Well, but it was a party for the family Nazi. That didn't go great. No, it didn't. That uh, it also didn't go. Oh no! Oh, oh fuck! Okay, so I way overshot that. <laughs> nope. Okay, fuck. I've lost it. <laughs> I was good at this game for a very brief moment. Sorry. Keep telling us the story. Maybe so, it'll come to. Okay, so it's second grade, and this this girl who, like I, I've never been a uh, a big guy. No, he's like, not. I know. I. It's shocking. I know. Like you would expect me. All four inches. Fuck you. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, but uh, I was like, this girl was, she probably had like six inches to a foot on me, height, height wise. Height wise, <laughs> you degenerate. Second That's grade, this story's about. Second grade. Sorry, sorry, second grade. Um, but so she's way bigger than me. And she constantly, constantly, like every day during recess, would just like would kick me in the shins 
And I know that doesn't sound like much, but when it's every day, multiple times a day, every recess, it it, it wears on you. I bet, yeah. A lot. And it was just like, it was just a, a truth of my life for a while there. And that... Huh. Nope. <clears throat> okay. Oh, buddy. Oh! Nicely done. Uh, but yeah, she uh, she would always kick me in the shins, and it sucked horribly. And finally, one day, I just snapped. And so, like, it was right at the end of recess for that... Whoa, bo. Uh, I was right at the end of recess for that day, and she was kicking me in the shins like she always did. And as the as the thing ended, I punched her in the face and then ran away because you know i ha i can't defend it because like you know it, violence is never the answer and you should never respond to violence with violence and that's that's messed up but you're in second grade so you don't know that exactly like it's just like it's a it's a base response so i punch her in the face and she proceeds after months of tormenting me she goes to the office and tells on me and says i don't know what he was doing I, I didn't do anything, and he just punched me in the face. And, like, literally, because I got called in, and she was already in there, and, uh, and like, the uh, the counselor or whatever who was in charge is just like, do you know why you're here? I'm just like, yeah, I think so. And she's just like, like, it literally, it was, it was as if the trial had happened before I got there, and I just got there in time for the sentencing after I had already been found guilty of punching her for no reason. Wow. And it was very frustrating to me. Did your parents get involved? Did no, you, I was. Uh, I, at least I don't think did so. Did you get to tell your side of the story, or? Uh, I did, but no one believed me. Because it was essentially, it was just like, she's a girl, that's not, that wouldn't happen. And it's just like, clearly you, you degenerate man, uh, did this thing. And I'm just like, I really didn't, but okay. And so that happened. Uh, so the, the second layer to this story, because we're not done yet. Uh, the shit. the punishment I got for this uh, this infraction was uh, a week of recess detention because you know when you're that young they don't give you like real detention or anything. Yeah. So oh, fuck. Um. So I had recess detention for a week, and I go to my first day of recess detention, and recess detention just happened in the uh, like the guidance counselor's office. Mm -hmm. And so I go to her office, and uh, it is important to note that, uh, oh, nope, I take it back, it was fourth grade. I know that because uh, it is important to note that a girl in my class had just died of leukemia. And, you know, that's, that is very sad, there is no joke there. Um, shit! And I go to the guidance counselor's office, turns out that recess time in the guidance counselor's office, since that tragedy had just happened, was like support group for friends of this girl. I didn't know this girl at all. So, like, I got there and essentially the guidance counselor had like forgotten that I had gotten recess detention. And so I went there and sat through the most awkward recess time <laughs> of my life because it's just like, she's just like, you know, what are you feeling, Adam? I'm just like, I don't want to talk about it. Like, and everyone else is like crying and like burying their souls. It's just like, I'm never going to see her again. And all these like, you know, children going through real loss of a friend. And I'm just stand sitting there like, I didn't know her. And I don't know how I would react to losing a friend. So I can't even fake it. I am so... Like, it was, it, it was probably a worse punishment than just missing recess would have been. Yeah. Because with my social anxiety and stuff, it's just, yeah. That was... <laughs> That's pretty rough. But um, yeah, it was it was insanity. That, like, that, 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 that kind of hit like a little chord with me a little bit. I don't know if you know this or not, but my youngest brother, the one I was just telling the story about, a graduated, actually is a leukemia survivor. Oh, well... It was, uh... I, I don't... It was... No, I don't... I don't know if the accurate, like, the the appropriate response is good for him, but good for him. <laughs> like, I don't know if that's the right thing to say at that moment, I, I but... Know what, I know what you're trying to say. It's totally cool. No! Yeah, he, um... <gasps> I got all kinds of really no! stories about about him at that age. 
like he was he was little when he when he got it to like he was like one and a half two uh -huh. when he first got it uh they had to put like a fort in his chest and he had these these tubes that came out every single day we had to put certain things in those tubes at in the evening or mm -hmm. but he called them his tubies and it always freaked me out when uh i, I kind of saw them as a, when i was because i was also pretty young i was yeah. like 10 and i was told that like if anything ever happened to those tubes they could get like ripped out of his chest and he would die and i was like that's horrifying and i was really protective over him <clears throat> well also yeah, he mean... was he was uh bald because of the leukemia because of the, uh, chemo. The, the chemo obviously yeah but um have you ever seen the show have you ever show, have you ever seen the show um, chemo, but... uh babylon 5 oh i hit the wrong button uh i think we tried to watch it once oh that's not that's, that's not, just not going well oh fuck me well uh i really really like babylon 5 that was a really great show but my mom always had weird halloween costume ideas she wanted to do with him while he was still bald <laughs> And okay. like there's like these uh, space uh, like space sorcerers or something of that nature. I can't remember exactly what they're called anymore. Okay. Um, but sorcerers. She would, yeah, she would uh, dress them up Dump. as like one of those one of those guys. I'm getting all twitchy. You're fine. You're fine. Okay. But uh, you know what? Go ahead and you know win this time. Win this time. Okay, I'll win this time. Win this this time. Do not die again. Are we at, are we at uh, next episode? You will we'll find out here, depending on if you died. All right, guys. So on the next episode, we'll play more of this game um, and tell more stories. Yeah, apparently. It's apparently um, it's super meat story time. It is. Um, what do you guys think is our least enjoyed uh, summer activity? Like stuff you have to do during the summer. That what do you think? It, do. What do you think we hate most? Answer down below. We'll record the right answers and give shout outs to people who get it right. Give us game suggestions. And if you like our stuff, subscribe. If you have friends who would also like our stuff, not just if you have friends in general. Well, you know what? If you have friends in general, send them our stuff because Who'd happens? you might be wrong. They might like our stuff. Bye, Bye guys. Everyone. Goodbye.